Now I'm filling out my Secret Santa form for our Secret Santa at work with the other teachers. Should I just put Louis Vuitton for everything? Okay, seriously though, every year we get the Secret Santa form and I'm always stumped as to what I should put on some of these. So maybe you guys can help me out. I'll read you the categories. My favorite candies are, I, I do have some of these filled out and this is one of them, chocolate covered cherries, peppermint bark, and sugar fina. There wasn't enough room to be more specific than that. And I probably should specify Williams Sonoma peppermint bark because they have the best. But beggars can't be choosers, is that how the phrase goes? Next, my favorite drinks are, well, I don't think they're going to be able to buy me my favorite drinks at a school event. Um, mostly what I drink, besides all the wine, is that LaCroix flavored water. I like the citrus flavors. I almost never drink soda, but I did put ginger ale and root beer. When I get fast food, which is also pretty rare, I always order a root beer with that. And I saw something, oh, it was Laurel Bell. She had, and I'll link her channel below, she had a beer the other day that was in a green can that looked like a ginger ale. And ever since then, I have been craving ginger ale. So thanks a lot, Laurel Bell. You made my secret Santa list. I also put William Sonoma hot chocolate. I did specify that because there is no other hot chocolate that is good, at least not that I've had. No other hot chocolate that compares. If you've never had William Sonoma hot chocolate, it is chocolate shavings. It's amazing. And I put tea and there wasn't room to specify there either. My favorite color, I don't have one, but I put black, gold, and like an olive or military green and turquoise. Mustard yellow too, but I'm not gonna put that because that's like a hint of mustard yellow. I don't want a whole bunch of mustard yellow stuff. My hobbies, drawing, photography, and filmmaking for YouTube. Not sure what they would do with that in terms of Secret Santa gifts. By the way, the way that we do ours, Monday through Thursday, you get a small gift in your mailbox. And this year they didn't specify a price on that. And then on the last day, on Friday, you get one larger gift. Well, it doesn't have to be one, there's not a number. You get a larger gift with a minimum price of $15, it says. My favorite part of the Secret Santa is the shopping. The challenge of getting somebody else's form, and usually they don't fill them out in as much detail as I do. And I like to take the information there and try to come up with something creative, cool, interesting gifts. And I'll share those with you when I get them. Next question, my favorite places like restaurants, stores, ice cream shops, etc. I put David's Tea and Sugarfina, not sure where else to put. I mean, that's where you put things like Louis Vuitton, right? But my favorite scent, I'm totally boring, so vanilla. I also put cloves and gardenia. I love gardenia soap. And then here's some that are blank. My favorite snacks that I can never have enough of, I don't really know. Um, stuff I love but never seem to have enough of. The last two years I've written money there and no one has given me money yet, so I think I'm just not gonna list money. And of course I wrote that as a joke. If I have the day to myself, I would blank. Um, I would hang out with my dogs, work on YouTube, and cook. My favorite Christmas time things, nutcrackers. This is the year of the nutcracker. You're gonna see more nutcrackers in Vlogmas here pretty soon. Stay tuned, because something I'm excited about, and I hope you'll enjoy it too. This I appreciate. There's a line for please no blank. So I, these are things I don't want. Starbucks and coffee. I don't drink coffee, and I never go to Starbucks, so Starbucks cards do me no good. And then the last blank that I have not filled out is other gift ideas that may help Secret Santa fulfill your holiday wishes. Again, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes, all those guys. But uh, yeah, what are some ideas you have? What are things you like that I should put that you think I might like? Thanks in advance for your help. I just dunked my paper in my tea for the day. Is this, okay, I was thinking about this earlier. 
Is this the tea of the day or is it the tea of yesterday because I opened it yesterday from the advent calendar? I think we should have a great tea debate in the comments section. The great tea debate of Vlogmas 2019. Tea of today or tea of yesterday? Go forth and argue amongst yourselves. This is the Earl Grey cream. Haven't tasted it yet. It smells like a, like a sweet cream, like a milky sweet cream. I'm not getting much of a cream flavor. There's a hint of it on more toward the end. Otherwise it tastes like black tea. It's good, but I don't think it's particularly special like some of the other ones have been. I wanted to show you my necklace. This is the first time I've worn it, and I'll show you a close-up, but it's a little flaming heart. It looks like a coin, kind of, but it's a little flaming heart. And on the back, it says, do all things with love. I thought that was nice. I saw this, and I had to have it. And it was only six or seven dollars, so you know it's excellent quality. If I can find it on the website, I'll link it below. Y'all have to tell me when there's like a stray piece of hair that's sticking out that's happened a few times and y'all haven't told me about it while I'm filming. Some friends you are. By the way, welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. Got home today and was hungry. Didn't want to cook because I've got all this vlogmasing to do. Didn't have a lot of food in the house. And I remembered something that a fellow YouTuber and a good friend of mine told me about recently. I feel like I need it's a kind of special effect where it sweeps across like this and then disappears with the tables in the way. We went to Costco and got a pizza. Bobster92 told me about this the other day. Only $10, this pizza's enormous, and it was pretty good. And I wanted to show you one other thing we found while we were there, and we actually bought this item for the box that it's in. These are little cream-filled and fruit-filled pastries from Italy, but this side of the box is the reason that we purchased it. When we went to Italy back in 2014, this is one of the places that we went. This is Vernazza in the Cinque Terre on the Italian Riviera. It's the northern west coast of Italy. And you see the castle fort thing over here in this little building here? That is where we stayed. That was our hotel room. So there was a little balcony and the windows where we could see the water over here. And then we could see the ocean over here and we could see Monterosso, the next town over in the distance. It was just spectacular. If you ever have a chance to get to Italy, this should be on your list. One of the towns in the Cinque Terre. I mean, just gorgeous. And then especially for photographers, right? So we had to buy the tin. My bag of the day is the Hermes Garden Party inspired bag in this camel-ish color. And then I have my Louis Vuitton Christmas animation with the penguins from a few years ago hanging from that. And I have it stuffed so it is unsnapped. And I've said when I unboxed this that the reason I love it is because it has a shoulder strap that is just so very helpful. And I wish Hermes had shoulder straps on their garden parties and their Birkins. And then when we went to Costco, I took this, my coach nolita 19 if i can get the chain straight on it i just took this into costco and it was very helpful and a nice little bag to carry around i am probably going to go over to the coach store later this week and look at that new horse and carriage collection in person and that bag i showed you with the rocket on it i'm just still in love and obsessed with it so We'll see. If I like it in person, there's a chance it'll come home with me. So there's a little teaser for you. What you're about to see has been pre-recorded. Given yesterday's content regarding margaritas, I thought it appropriate to include this unboxing of the wine dog margarita box in today's video, even though I used the same joke that I used yesterday. Enjoy. My favorite subscription boxes here. I love these wine dog boxes so much. Let's get right into it, shall we? Here's what's in it, and as usual, all the paperwork falls out. That's just part of the charm, right? We get the usual this one, and this one telling you how to enjoy your wine dog box properly. There is a protocol. And then this cute little card with adorable doggies. This looks great already. Here's what I can see. Tequila. Seems like there's a song about that. And I'm guessing this is just like that rosé bottle that I opened in the first box I got, where if I squeeze it, it has a water bottle inside, if I squeeze it, there's a squeaker on it. Very cool. Again, my kids don't play with toys, so this will go to someone who will appreciate it more. Ooh, we got treats. Mutt Mallows Banana Buddies. These are made in the USA by Lazy Dog Cookie Company, and they are rolled oats, honey, palm oil, whey, vanilla, rice flour, banana, and natural smoke flavors. Yum. The next thing I see on top 
Ooh, look at this. It's a double wall insulated little drink holder thing. What's a drink holder called? A cup, perhaps? It looks like it has a screw top lid. The whole thing is plastic and that opens up and closes so you don't spill it and it's pretty secure. And then there's some green paper inside. Nifty. Oh, it's not a screw top. It's just press on, pull off. Next, ooh, I have had this at wineries. I don't know if I've had this particular flavor, but I've never purchased it. So this will be fun to try. Probably over Christmas when my mom is here because she would like this too. It's a winerita, the senorita flavor. So this, there are mixed drink packets. And instead of adding like tequila, you add wine. And I think all of them are frozen drinks. Yep, you put it in a blender with wine and ice, blend it up. You can also make it on the rocks, it says, and you can do a tequila recipe instead of wine. Fantastic. Next is the doggy wine, the Fetch Me Grigio. This is the same wine that we got in the first box. I still haven't given it to the dogs yet, so I don't know if they like it. Hopefully they will. If they're my dogs, they're gonna like it. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. This is a bottle sock. So you put this over your wine bottle and it says margarita and on the back it has a recipe to make a margarita. Now let me tell you, this is the margarita box from Wine Dog, first of all. And the reason I ordered it is because this household is a margarita household. The boyfriend makes the best margaritas on the planet. And that, I can tell you, with no sarcasm whatsoever, is the sole reason that we got together in the first place. This is very cute. You can disguise your wine as a margarita, but maybe that's not such a good idea that everybody would drink it. Might have to think about that one. Also got some cocktail napkins. It's Wine 30, cute. And it looks like that's everything in the box. Another win for Wine Dog. Okay, Future Autumn is back and it is advent calendar time. Let's start with the do-it-yourself advent calendar. I'm excited about today's item, which is this one, number nine number nine so first of all these little pens on the front you see they have dogs there's a little black cat and a gray dog and then that white pen is a different one that's kind of in the middle i found these at the paper source i ordered one of them it was a black and white dog one it was about three or four dollars and i ordered it with another item that i was ordering actually it was with the sugarfina calendar i ordered it to take my total up to the point where i would get free shipping and i'm so glad i did because i went back and bought all of the different colors of the dogs and the little black cat because i loved the pen so much it's a lightweight little plastic pen and it has the tail is what you push to make the the pen you know go out and go back in retract there is a word for that and they're a black gel ink and they write so well so if you're looking for a nice pen for somebody that's cheap and cute but also writes really well which i really care about it's very important to me that's a good one the paper source so i will link those below this pen is different this is a white ink gel pen and it goes with the item inside the box so let's open it up and see what it is It is sticky notes that are black and then you write on it with the white pen and you can see your writing on the black paper. And I just thought that was something a little different to try. I love stationery and thought that would be fun. And by the way, yes, in case you're wondering, the piranhas are here. Hmm, what next? How about T? Number nine, number nine. I'm a grateful tart and luscious superfruit. Ingredients, apple, pineapple, hibiscus blossoms, white tea, pomegranate seeds and blossoms, rose petals, stevia extract, and natural flavoring. That sounds good. Sugarfina, number nine, number nine. Yes, I'm going to do that every time. Sparkle pops. These crunchy chocolates are filled with popping candy for a big burst of sparkle and pop. Oh dear. Is that like Pop Rocks? We have to try those. Did I eat it wrong? Nothing is happening. It's just crunchy inside like, like a crunch bar or a crackle bar. Finally at the very end when I already swallowed most of it, there's a little bit of the Pop Rock action. It's very mild. It's disappointing. Baron, it's time. <gasps> Roxy. It's time. They know what time it is. It's doggy cookie advent calendar time. Number nine, number nine. 
That's the last time, I swear. Can't help myself, I just love the Beatles. Now before I give these cookies to the dogs, we need to address a controversy and set the record straight. Several of you seem a bit upset with me because you have pointed out that I always give the bigger piece of the cookie to Baron and the smaller piece to Roxy. Some of you think I prefer Baron over Roxy, that I have a favorite. Whether or not that's true, the reason that Baron gets the bigger piece is because he is all muscle. And I know it's hard to tell by looking at Floofy Dog, but she's all squish. That's why she gets the smaller piece. I'm not playing favorites, I'm just trying to keep her a little healthier. Now that that's cleared up, 